Today's video is going to be a little different to normal because I thought I would do a desk tour as well as show you guys some of my favourite supplies, my go-to supplies as well as just what I have on hand in general. This is my desk. <laughs> it's um, There's a lot going on. Yes. Um, how do I start this honestly? This right here is a burn from a tea candle that I, I, I burnt it a couple years ago. It usually gets in the way of filming sometimes so you might see it. This right here is my tripod. I always have it attached to my desk. Then I have these two guys here, Bonnie and Monty from Five Nights at Freddy's. This little Bonnie here is one that I made out of Super Sculpey. He's got his little guitar. And then there's just a Monty that I got from a, a bag. So yeah, I just have my, my keyboard out all the time. And then I have this nice little stand that has a gap underneath it, which is where I slot my tablet that just slides out whenever I need it. I have my sketchbook here, which usually just moves around the desk. And this one is usually just full of paper and stuff and bits. I have two screens. I didn't realize how easy it was to set it up and just have two of them plugged into the same computer. It has changed my life. <laughs> I can't go back to just one screen now. It is very difficult. Having the handiness of two screens is amazing. And then I have my Zoro and Sanji. Sanji is a little broken. His foot does not work. So he just stays in here and sits with my my pen for my tablet. Zoro is always chilling with him. I have some kitchen roll in case I ever need it. This is a relatively new setup. I got one of these from Amazon. They come in a set of two. They're actually spice racks. These are, they're the RTX acrylic markers. I just like to have them handy and nearby so I can grab them whenever. Then some books. This is just where I keep track of important things. And then this is a Talons book that I use for my general ideas. I used to use sticky notes for my ideas but it just felt like such a waste and this book was doing nothing so <laughs> this book has had a lot of like identity crises. Crises? Crises? And um, now it actually has a very important purpose and I love it. Then I have a spray bottle that I use for reactivating my gouache. Then I have several pots. This one is my kind of most used pot. Um, I put the things I use the most in, although it has also somehow accumulated a bunch of things that I do not use that often. <laughs> so I have some cheap paint brushes. Then I have the Koei Noor pencils that I got from Upcrate recently. I've got them on hand because I really like them. Then I have a bunch of Faber-Castell Polychromos and I've got them in these pencil extenders because they have gotten so short now that I can't actually hold them. This video is going to be bad. I'm so sorry about how janky this video is. I'm not used to filming stuff like this. Then I've got a bog standard um, ballpoint pen that I like to use for my idea book. I also have this um, roller pen that a couple people have asked me about in the past. It doesn't have a brand or anything, it's just called a roller pen. You can grab them from like Tesco's or Asda or anything. Then I have this, which is a, it's like a mechanical pencil, but it's a rubber. So I can get like detailed um, rubbing out things. <laughs> then I like to use these HB pencils. I use them a lot for like the general sketch that doesn't need to look like anything and I really like it because it, it feels very loose and sometimes I get some really nice sketches with just these. I like to go in and refine it with my mechanical pencil. The label has since worn off. I have a new one right here. It is Pentel Click Twist Arrays. Then I have this white gel pen from Ohuhu that I like to use when fixing things. These are Faber-Castell um, coloured roller pens. They're the same as the black ones except they are coloured and I have that in a green and a pink as well. I have these, they're nail, nail art brushes and um, you can buy them really cheap on Amazon and I use them for like the little details in paintings. Then I have this Tombow pen which uh, I have a few more of in here. They're all right, they're not my favourite, but they, you know, they they work, <laughs> I guess. I always find that they ruin the paper really easily and the, maybe it's because the nibs are 
a little harder than I expected. I'm not entirely sure. I just don't like them as much as I thought I would. I then also have a coloured pencil that I've been meaning to draw something with. Then here is where I keep my um, fine liners, most of my fine liners, like my coloured ones that I use a lot. Um, these ones are the Ohuhu ones, which I really, really love. They're probably my favourite fine liners now. I also keep some coloured ballpoint pens that I have been meaning to do stuff with but also haven't but thankfully they were like ridiculously cheap which is why I picked them up. Then my scissors, my handy dandy scissors that I use for everything. This is my messy assortment of paint brushes. You can also see my horribly messy shelf back there. Just don't look. I've got this one that is completely solid. Oops. And then I've got the Artify brushes in here, as well as just some random ones that I usually get from Hobbycraft. This is the rest of the pack of nail art paint brushes. I have this giant ruler that I don't know where to keep, so it just sticks out there. I then also have my um, swatch sheet for my acrylic pens. Um, this protector sheet that came with a set of Ohuhu markers, as well as these swatch sheets for this set of Ohuhu markers that I bought a long time ago. I put them in this mesh stand thing that I got recently so that I could have some more organization and some easy access to some of the pens. These are the these are the watercolor pens that came in that recent upgrade box that I did a video for. And I'm in love with them, which is why they have been put here so I can get them easily. This is honestly kind of a bit of a mess. This is where I keep the Tombow pens and then this is where I keep some fine liner things as well as the thin Posca pens that you can get. This one just has some pencils and other pens that I never use and some like brush, aqua brush thingies. That's the same down here, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous things. Then I have this box of stationary stuff that has just, it just kind of sits there and doesn't have much in it. Then I have a tub of Posca pens that I never use anymore and I feel kind of bad that they're wasted. And then I have underneath it my set of Ohuhu alcohol markers. I have this bookshelf that I use to keep a bunch of my art on. Well, not my art, but art I've collected. So I've got two prints of Filiers at the top, then a Mimsko Sara, and then some lovely prints from Shay that she sent me recently from her lino cutting stamps. And then hidden behind this is a Beast Stars print from Cutie Cosmo, I think is their name. These are just some oak leaves that my mum sent me from France. And then this is a print that came with a art book. So then here I've got some books as well. This was supposed to be an anatomy book for anatomy practice that I never really did much with. It was an old book that had some old drawings in it. This was my idea book for like stickers and stuff. And it's also where I kept track of like prices and things. And then that is a notebook that I just use for random note taking as well. Then I have this lovely one piece poster that the frame is too big for, but I couldn't find a proper sized frame. And a print from, I think, do you say her name like Sibling? Then I have a print that I made of my cats and dogs. Unfortunately, a couple of them have passed. They are immortalized up here, thankfully. Then I have a print from Lani Lavendula. And then here is my, my messy cork board that is right above my screen. Yeah, I've just got prints from artists that I like and keychains and just bits and bobs that I just wanted to keep up there. It's a really cute slate painting from my mum, as well as a little Mantike charm that I got when I was really young. Keychains from artists. Um, this one Philia sent me, which was really, really sweet of her. This is a necklace of the ring from Uncharted because I, I you know, I love that game series and I was really obsessed with it for a while. Baby Yoda. This is a photo of my little girl, Clipsy because I miss her. Varric and Cullen, a little Buizel charm and a little buggy charm that I made. These are the eggs from Naughty X video and this is the swatch sheet from this upgrade video because I have those 
watercolour pens to hand I wanted to have the swatch sheet nearby so that I could see what the colours were and I have a one piece lanyard, another print from Sibling and my beetle print that I still haven't fixed in any way. You can see on my bookshelf here this is where I keep my, my previous sketchbooks um, which is just like easy to hand so I can just grab them if there is an idea in a previous one that I want to look through. I think that's it. I, I don't really know what else to say. I'm not really sure how people do these so well. I might cut some things up and add some things in and so you can easily see a lot of my supplies and stuff. But yeah, I just really wanted to try and get one of these done because I know a lot of people have been asking to have like an easy way to see what I use. Yeah, I hope you don't mind this weird video. I hope it has been kind of helpful and insightful. So thank you for checking out this video, thank you so much if you made it this far, and I want to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Dispy, Megan Palmer, Grim Cloud, Non-Toxic, Saint Nix, LP, Kira May, K, Annabelle, Joanna, Sir Studdalot, Mila, VB, Pretty Rotten, Crescent Frog, Joanna Snake Moon, Humble Frogs, Local Fish Keeper, Mold Ghoul, Art Mancy, Farrah Ware, Sun Arts, Molly Marula, Hannah Anderson, Sammy Bear 127, Kenzania, JDS, Arrow, Charlie, Malarus, Ghosty, Jess H30, Cindy King, Vlada, Art by Lavender, A Woodsy, Rainbow Tea, Breaded Nuggets, Dumb Teen, and Naver Thorpe. Thank you guys so much for all your support and hopefully I'll have another video out soon.